All right, I guess I'm doing the devil's work in some people's eyes. Going to talk about legalization versus prohibition. America's first pot vending machines have opened in Washington state inside a medical marijuana dispensary where a doctor's authorization and state ID are required to even enter. It's part of a growing national trend to normalize pot, although notable figures are still very much opposed. Colorado's Governor John Hickenlooper says his state's decision to legalize pot was reckless. I say bring on the legal weed. Does that make me crazy? I don't smoke marijuana. I don't even like it. I don't like the way it smells. I don't like what it does to the bout day. But I believe in freedom, your freedom. This is your crazy, Kennedy. Joining me is Emily Miller, chief investigative reporter for Fox 5 in D.C., a celebrated author, a gun rights advocate, <laughs> and a, a brilliant mind who is only wrong, perhaps, on this issue. Emily, how are you? Welcome. Exactly. Your one issue, Kennedy, that you get messed up is you're pushing pot on these people. There, there's a big difference between fighting for freedom and pushing uh -huh. an agenda. And I will say Wait, this, I will qualify it every time, Emily. I do not smoke weed. I don't think teenagers should smoke weed. I don't think kids should smoke weed. I don't think it's necessarily great for you. But that doesn't mean it should be illegal. Well, I, I don't even understand your reasoning here. So you agree that it doesn't help your life. You agree that kids shouldn't be doing it. Yet you're supporting people who are normalizing, legalizing in Colorado. As you just said, the, the governor said it was reckless. It's been a complete disaster. Fatalities and car accidents are up. K more kids are using it. More college kids are using it. More deaths from this. This is what is the result of what you are calling just more freedom. It's okay, so, a so you think kids. that, so Emily, so you think that, that something that's deadly should be illegal. Uh, therefore, there were 88,000 people who were killed by uh, alcohol related incidents, uh, 43,000 prescription drug deaths. And these are things that are legal, far more deadly, far more deadly than marijuana. So why don't we prohibit those substances as well? We do for kids, and obviously they get them anyway. Obviously Marijuana like is not legal for children. It's not. And they get them anyway because when you open up the market like this and you legalize it, and that's what's happened in Colorado, that's why more kids, the increase in of kids in high school, increase in kids in college, increase in fatalities, that is the result of this. I mean, whether you think it's a good thing or happened, that is what has happened in Colorado. It's the perfect little experiment of this idea of normalizing and legalizing marijuana. Emily, you are one of the fiercest pro-gun rights advocates in the country. You have written about this issue so extensively. You have staked your reputation on this. There are I a can't lot of see people, where this is going. Uh -oh. There are a lot of people who say guns are deadly. They kill people. I'm not one of them. I agree with you on that because, Emily, yeah. I like freedom across the board. How could yeah. you possibly be so anti-pot when the same arguments could be applied to your gun logic? Um, I actually have absolutely no idea how I can bring those two together in your logic. I don't see how they're different. One is a constitutional right and one is not. So I don't really see why those are two different things. And yes, a gun is deadly in the hands of a criminal, just like drugs are deadly in the hands of someone who's abusing them. And, so and I, I, for I those people for whom it's deadly, that. those people are the ones who should go to prison. Uh, those who, who assault other people, those who rob, those who are violent, those are the people who should be in prison, not those yes. who possess things like marijuana. And it is a well, racial I mean, issue. That's... Black people and white people use marijuana in equal measure, yet uh, African Americans in this country disproportionately uh, well, prosecuted and put in, in jail and prison th for The drug number offenses. of people in state prison for pot is 0.3%. And not just for smoking pot, it's for having about 150 pounds of pot. So it is this ridiculous side note of like, oh, well, there's all these people in prison for smoking pot. That is not true. Well, not you know what is true? The, the drug war has failed. Uh, the culture warriors they are there are on the losing side of this issue many states a majority Actually, of the whom opposite, have decided Kennedy. no the that's polls are no, the that's, that's not true. People may disagree with the pot, but overwhelmingly, where it's put up on ballots, people want basic freedom. Actually, and it's just failed because in Florida, you don't, just because you don't failed. use it, doesn't mean you, you shouldn't have the right to. Well, look, it, it, I totally agree with you that it's become very trendy, and that's why we saw a change in Washington State. We saw a change in Colorado, and now you're seeing a turnaround because there's scientific studies and actual statistics in law and crime that are happening as a result of this. So things are changing. That's why it didn't pass in Florida. That's why in one year the Gallup polls went down 7%. No, that's not why it, it didn't pass in Florida.
That's actually okay. not why it did. There was a very then different did... threshold in Florida, and it actually got a majority of votes. And by the way, the drug war, 55,000 people dead in Mexico. You know what they import from Mexico? Marijuana. That's what's what, killing people. What is the relevance of, of Mexico versus in Colorado? I don't see the connection. Because when something is grown legally, when it's no longer prohibited, then people can grow it in regulated environments, well, self-regulated environments. Well, look, all, Instead of having to buy it from Mexico where women and children are dying. But if Kenny, you're cool with that, you're talking in theory. You're not talking practicalities. What is happening in Colorado? People, as they, they didn't have theoretically leave. die. They grow the, it in Mexico and they bring it up talk to the United, United States. States. That's, well, that's where they sell Americans. it, Emily. That's where they sell it. No, here's what happened in Colorado, specifically in America. Let's talk about that. We've had yes. this experiment of legalization, and what has happened? The black market has gotten bigger because the kids are buying in Colorado. How else do you say no, that the, the kids black market has gotten bigger legally. because marijuana is too expensive because there's too much government where, involvement the, if, if in the marketplace? In Let the market decide. Let the individual decide. Even if you disagree with it, it doesn't mean the government should shut you down. Emily Miller, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Always come back. <laughs>